What's up people, it's Bo Leaf, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys tips on how to improve and win more gunfights in Warzone and how to think when you are going to get into these gunfights. If you guys haven't seen my last video on about how to improve in Warzone, I gave you guys general tips about how to play more aggressive because I'm being really honest with you guys. If you guys are playing a more conservative play style with Ghost and Heartbeat Sensor, kind of just playing it slow, it's gonna be very hard for you to improve in the game. And if you want to improve, you have to be more aggressive. So when it comes to gameplay, I, I like to think of two different types of gameplay, which is macro gameplay and micro gameplay. So macro gameplay is how you position yourself while you're rotating around the huge map of Verdansk based on contracts or based on how the gas is rotating and where your team or you are in the whole map. And then micro gameplay is more how you are engaging in gunfights and your movements within gunfights. So this video specifically, we'll be talking about micro gameplay, which is you and your gunfights against a certain team or a certain individual. And if you guys want another video about macro gameplay, how I like to think when I first land in Verdansk and how I rotate throughout the whole map, go ahead and let me know in the comments and I'll try to make you guys a video for the macro gameplay style. So before we start, if you guys could do me a favor and smash that like button only if you guys found value in this video will help me a whole bunch. Uh, this video does take me a while to make because I got to find out what the heck I'm thinking about in these gunfights. And then go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to see more of my content. Um, I do make a lot of Warzone content uh, currently, unless there's going to be a new game coming out. I might start playing that as well. And then go ahead and comment down what you guys want to see more from me. Uh, I'll do my best to try to make videos for you guys. So the thing about improving gunfights in general, uh, I have three pillars that I always like to think about. So one is information. So this is the red dots if you're trying to third party someone on your map or contracts being taken on the map, which this is why it's so important that you're always looking and keeping an eye on your mini map. You wanna know if there's red dots and you wanna know where the contracts are in case someone just takes like a bounty or takes a recon right next to you. You need to know these small little things. Um, other things for information would be team callouts. And then most importantly is audio cues like broken glass or if you walk past a building and you hear footsteps. Those are very important things for information. And then the second pillar is positioning. So what does positioning mean? So once you understand that there is a team third partying across the street or whatever from you, or there's someone next to you in your building due to their footsteps or someone closing the door, positioning is how are you gonna position yourself to be in the best place to engage that certain individual or team? So this could be you just rushing in while they don't know that you're there. So if you have Deddy or something like that, or being able to cut and pinch another team off. So if you're third partying, you don't wanna go right in between the team. This is pretty obvious, but sometimes people don't think about this because they're just really hungry for kills. It's always better to try to be the one pinching either one of the teams or really catching them off guard. And then the third pillar is gonna be movement. So how to move to your next position as efficiently as you can and understanding how to use your movement to your advantage within gunfights. So that's gonna be slide canceling and uh, getting to wherever you need to as, as fast as possible. And then also understanding peekers advantage and knowing how to bunny hop. Those are just three very basic things that helps you when it comes to movement. All right, so those are the three pillars that I like to think about every time I get into a gunfight, which is information, positioning, and movement, all right? And to top of that all off, one of the things I find very important is confidence, okay? This is not one of the pillars, but for sure, being able to have confidence in your shot, being able to have confidence that you're gonna win these gunfights helps so much. Just lie to yourself, dude. Lie to yourself if you have to do it and just say you're better, okay? I mean, of course, there's going to be someone out there who's way better than you. But then if you just tell yourself you're better and you have that confidence, it's going to improve your gunfight so much more than you being afraid and thinking, oh, I'm just going to like lose this gunfight, which is totally fine. OK, we're trying to improve and improve by being better is to be more aggressive. And to understand that, you gotta have more confidence in your gameplay. All right, so I know that was a lot of information I just threw at you guys, um, but I'll go ahead and 
show you guys some clips and explain more about my thought process in using those three pillars to win more gunfights. But before we do that, I do want to show you guys just a quick three basic movements, which is slide canceling, uh, peekers advantage, and bunny hopping, just so you guys know why those are really important movements to use to win more of your gunfights. Um, after I show you guys that, then we'll just go ahead and start showing you guys more clips and I'll go ahead and explain my thought process. All right, so here we are. I'm just gonna give you guys a really quick uh, movement, like I guess basic guide. Uh, so slide canceling is really important. How you do it on PC, this is how I do it on PC. I'm not too sure about controller, but you just tax sprint. I have auto tax sprint on, so I just automa automatically, geez, start tax sprinting. Um, but you, you tax sprint and you crouch crouch and you press space bar. That's how you do it on PC. I'm not too sure how you guys do it on console. I'm sure it's a lot easier, but uh, it's important because if you watch me sprint here, I, I lose that tax sprint right around halfway. But if you're if you're actually like tax sprinting and you slide slide, you continue to have that tax sprint reset. So you're actually able to move just slightly faster around the map. I know it doesn't seem like a huge important thing to do, but it is something that really helps improve your rotations around the map. Um, and then also I wanted to talk about Peeker's Advantage. So Peeker's Advantage, uh, let's see. So Peeker's Advantage, let's imagine that there's someone around this corner, like where that guy is supposed to be. So if you guys are both playing it really slow and he's holding, you know he's holding the angle and you're gonna slowly peek like this. You know, you guys are both gonna see each other around the same time. Maybe he might see you first, you might see him first. But if you sprint and you pop out of that corner last second, um, it's gonna take a few milliseconds for his game to register that you jumped over that corner. So you're gonna be able to line up your shots first right away. So you're gonna be able to shoot first and he's gonna be like, what the heck? That's why sometimes if you're playing really slow and you're hiding certain corners like this, uh, like let's say if you're in like a cubby at super, um, what is it called, at storage town, they're gonna be able to jump inside your cubby before you can even react to them like shooting you. So that's why it's always super important to play aggressive because even though this is a very arcadey, like beginner friendly game, it highly rewards people who play very aggressive. So I highly recommend you guys to try to play more aggressive if you guys want to win more gunfights. Um, but yeah, so that's that's Peeker's advantage, okay? Being able to just peek out of these corners. All right, and then really quick, I'm just gonna teach you guys how to bunny hop. I still can't hit this all the time, uh, but that thing is so loud and annoying. But essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna peek the corner, ADS and turn. And then right when your operator hits the ground and does like a little springy motion, like that little bounce motion there, you're gonna wanna hit your uh, jump button one more time. And you do a little hop like that. That's a perfect example of how you do a bunny hop. That's just to help you give an extra little hop and a little bit more momentum to surprise whoever you're gonna be engaging. So that's super important to do. And by mastering that, you could even like do it off these like crazy freaking ledges that I've seen like pro players do. I haven't actually done it myself because I'm like totally trash. I can't even climb these walls, but it is something you could totally do is like, you know, hop off of like a crazy slope and then bunny hop right over. But those are just some quick basic stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some gameplay. And then um, I could go ahead and show you guys my thought process in between these gunfights and hopefully it helps open your idea of how to think when you're about to engage in gunfights. All right, so here is a, one of the clips that I'm gonna be showing you guys. Um, it's me wiping a whole squad, but then my boys end up getting downed. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I played it and then we'll go back and I'll talk through about what I did, but go ahead and pay attention to the mini map, kind of how we're playing and our comms, uh, but let me go ahead and start it. Come on, Joy. Yeah, so. Copy cash drop. Uh, pop goes. Friendly UAV Ooh, on oh, head. shit. I don't even know what to do, bruh. Uh, oh, Jordan's dropping to you. I'm climbing up a ladder. I can't help you right now. You good? Oh, my fucking god, bro. 
Can I get you? Oh, no. God damn it, dude. That's my fault. Hey, Den. There's a shitload of guns right here, bro. Oh, I can't get. Enemy UAV overhead. We've got gas moving in. I right hear Den. Oh, wait, you're landed here, man. Good. Fuck, dude. No. Two squads? How many times am I gonna fucking die, bro? All right, Joe. Movement. Oh, I'm in front of you too. Fucking okay, go. Ooh. Oh no. Nice. I broke him. Push up on you. You're right. You're right. There's another one back right here. Heading in. Damn. Circle, circle, circle. Come right. He's on top. He's on top. Rest on your shoulders. Ha ha ha. Ah ha ha. Go to the car. Go to the car. Go to the car. Fuck him, dude. Go to the car. Go reloading. Ha ha ha. What? Are you by loading? What flavor? All right. So since you guys saw that clip already, now we're going to go through and talk about what I was doing and trying to use my pillars for winning this gunfight, okay? So here we're yeah. trying to get more information, right? Pillar uh, one, get more information. And then they pop, oh, or my boy popped the UAV and he got the res off. So now I know that there's these this team, two on this building and one on this building, top floor, looking over at my teammates. So I'm thinking about pillar number two okay positioning so what's the best positioning this building on my left right here is a bad spot because it's still lower than these two buildings and uh they're gonna be able to just beam at me so where i'm gonna go is on top of this right building try to be at the same level as them and maybe i could try to get their attention to get okay, off of my there. teammate right because they know that well, they know where my you. guy I'm is but they don't know where we are good. and right there i'm giving him comms Letting him know what I'm doing. Oh my God. And then sadly he gets dropped. Can I get you? And they thirst him right here too. Yeah. Okay, so right now, information. I know where they are. I'm in a better position. Okay, and then now I gotta think about my movement, right? Damn it, dude. That's my fault. Hey, so. Dude, there's a shitload of guns right here, bro. For this portion, we're just gonna try to break some armor, try to like bother the crap out of them. Hopefully get another down. Here, and like just slow their tempo because that's a really important thing in gunfights is the, the oh, tempo how no, fast you're was. how fast you're having everything played out right oh, and then my boy here gets dropped sadly okay so positioning we knew or information we knew that that guy's here we cracked a dude on this red marker right and then Right here, we heard the audio cues, right? We heard the audio cues before we even saw that this guy was going to run forward. So that's really important information. And then right there, I don't know if you guys saw. Let me go back a little bit. So audio cues right here. And then you also see this guy run in the back. So... Now we're going to think about our positioning, right? Because we know that majority of them are in this location and there's one guy right in front of us and how we're going to play this and okay, our yeah. movement is going to be important here. So we know he has to come down this little alley and he, if he goes down the alley, he's going to be at a great disadvantage because he can't go anywhere. He has to either move forward or go backwards and he's just going to stay in one straight line. That's easy beams. Okay. So I have my AR out, which is not the best one out. And uh, I beam him a little bit. I go out of his line of sight and I switch to my secondary. And then I try to use my peeker's advantage by sliding past him here. So I slide past him, right? It takes him a second to realize that I slid past him because of the peeker's advantage and my movement. Right here, he's cracked. And I know I have a bullfrog with a nice mag. Uh, so he's going to run out of ammo before me. Which is why I re-challenge this. I get the down Ooh. and I thirst. Oh no. Nice. I broke him. So he called out. He broke me. Which is a good call out on them. But then now I got to reset everything. Okay. I got to get information. 
and I got to position myself. So information, I knew they were over here. And positioning, I need to position myself a little bit further away from the gas because the gas is rotating in. And also, they're going to be rushing to try to kill me or my teammate. So I'm listening for audio cues, information. What's up on you? You're right. Right here, I, there was footsteps on my right-hand side. And right. I used my heartbeat sensor just to see where he is. I know I was saying not to use heartbeat sensors, but I ran out of stuns, so I picked up a heartbeat sensor here. Um, and also, it was really helpful because these three guys were on the map on the UAV, so the heartbeat sensor came in pretty clutch in this scenario right here. And more importantly, I positioned myself properly while using this heartbeat sensor. So movement after information, knowing he's on my right behind this wall, very important. So right there, you see Peeker's Advantage. I'm trying to jump that corner just in case he's holding that corner and looking. And then here, I'm going to slide in and up for Peeker's Advantage again. All right, so luckily, get the down. And then here, we're playing it slow, right? We're not going to sit there and finish thirsting him because we know that there's a guy in between these buildings, okay? Because that was the other guy that was shooting at me. And we want to be able to plate up because we're already like half down on our plates. So we're going to take the time, okay, slow down the momentum and the tempo of the gunfight. Right here. Put on armor. Our boy is giving us call outs with the blue ping here saying the enemy is over here. Okay. So we're going to shoulder peek, which is really important. If you shoulder peek while putting on armor, it's not that bad because like I said, peekers advantage, they're going to barely see your shoulder, and but you're going to be able to see the corner a lot easier and have more information rather than just standing behind the wall. So information is super important here. I come here for the thirst because there's so many self reses in these stupid boxes now. You always got to make sure you get your thirst. Damn. Circle, circle, circle. And then right there, I see this guy jump right over and then watch how I play this. So... There's two different types of cover right now, right? This wall that's way higher than me and this, uh, I guess, barrier. So here I'm going to take a few shots. He's going to hide, right? Because look, we have gas pushing against him and we're still safe. So this is where he's going to start panicking. He's either going to have to eat gas and put on armor or he's going to have to challenge me. And I'm not going to stay in the same position because this, this gave the upper half of my body uh, no cover. So I position myself behind this wall to give me a better uh, head glitch. And then I'm able to get him because of the stupid mantling animation. He would mantled, which screwed him up. And also, I had a good uh, like head glitch on him. And that is how we wrap this up, okay? And I even got a nice little shoot him as he get revived. You know what I mean? Just because I want to make sure that I get the kill. But that's just one way of me using these three pillars to my advantage in winning this gunfight. Let me go ahead and show you guys one more video um, before we end this whole thing, all right? All right, and for the last clip here, we're gonna be doing a duo trios gameplay with my boy Speedy McGee. Um, here, we're gonna end up getting third party by two other teams. So I think there's four teams here, including us. All right, so here, as you guys can see, we just popped a UAV and uh, we see someone just bought a load of them so bad. So we're pushing forward. I want to stun them um, so bad. I'll go and play it out so and I'll go over so again, just like the previous video or a previous clip. Sending them, sending them, sending them, sending them. Yep, all hits, all hits, all hits, all hits, all hits. All hits, all hits. All hits, all hits. Enemy UAV, I'll go ahead. Shot. Be advised, right UAV is bingo. Repositioning. Here. Enemy UAV, I'll go ahead. There's like one. They're top right now. Top, top. Just inbound. <laughs> oh my god. Where are they? Alright, I had tents. 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 Let's go to the tents already. We're in the safe zone. Oh. New squad showed up. Let's move. Man, so lucky, bro. I got a cat in the pool, bro.
One's right here. One's right here. One's right here. Two's up. Three what there. the fuck? There's three? One's right I'm here. Three on. one's, yeah, one's right here. Two at tents, y'all. Two at tents. And three by you. Movement! Uh, try to rotate out. Yeah, I'm gonna go back for my shit real quick. Oh, you're a bitch! Don't do it, sketch. I'm riding up, I'm riding up. Do that tense right here. Repositioning. I just grabbed my shit, hold on. Ooh, I'm getting sniped from somewhere. 13, yeah, another team. Come on, dude, still, still get me up, bruh. One, one's backside. He went inside like a bear. Relocate. I got one right in front of you. Though. Oh, this guy fucking sniped. Hold on. He just ripped the stuff right. Cool. I'm better, dude. I'm fucking better. You're fucking hot, boy. <laughs> All right, so that was a pretty long clip. All right, we're gonna start it from the beginning again. So information. Okay, we know where they are because of the UAV and plus that big red cloud of smoke. Stun them so bad. So we're pushing forward and my boy's saying so he wants to stun them so bad, bad. right? He got so two bad. stuns, he's gonna stun them. So I'm pushing forward here to a better position, right? So I wanna I wanna have an angle on this right hand side because he has the straight on sight on them already. So if I position myself behind this rock, them, it's them, gonna them, give them, me them, the, them, them, the them, ability them, to them, possibly them, catch him rotating them, in the back. Here they all are. They all just came out like freaking cockroaches. Wasn't able to knock any. So here, you hear the audio of them walking on the stairway or like kind of like wooden steps. Try to Harby. Harby's not working because they all got ghosts from that Lodi. And then, so we know that they're in here. Okay, information one. Two, positioning. All right, so I'm positioned on the outside. My boy's pushing inside, and I need to be in there with him. And then my movement. How am I going to move most efficiently to go and support my my squad mate, right? So what I'm going to do is, because I know this is a jump spot, I'm going to jump on these uh, crates onto this window. I go inside. He already thirsts one, which is good. Somehow this guy was down. Where are they? And then he gets thirst here. Okay. Right here. I'm listening for footsteps. Let's to the tents already. We're in the safe zone. And I hear a slight footstep on my right. So I'm going to pre-challenge this guy with Peeker's advantage, hoping that I'm going to catch him with his pants down. Okay. But he was also pushing. So this is like very good on him because if he was waiting, I would have definitely surprised them more. But uh, we both challenged each other and I had the SMG with a faster time to kill. And I won that fight, okay? I won that fight because I hit my shots. And also because this is where Elodie's become very important, right? Having submachine guns versus having ARs and stuff like that. The MP5 Cold War has one of the fastest time to kills uh, in the SMG category. And it kills faster than the FFAR. So that right there is a perfect example of having Elodie's and knowing the strengths of your Elodie. Um, and right there is just a good example of how like we both clash and shot each other at the same time. And I was able to hit my shots. He was able to hit shots. But my gun has a faster time to kill. So I won. And then right here, a car is pushing. That red car right there. And I started to get beamed. So I was like, okay, I need to get the hell out of this situation and back into cover. And I'm armoring immediately. Okay? Armor immediately. Get shot at. Ooh. Try to dodge and weave. Close that door. I try to close that door so that I can hear audio cues. But I just ran through it because I have tax sprint on. And then paying attention to the red dots, right? They're fighting someone else somehow. I don't know who the hell they're fighting, but apparently there was another squad here. So they're fighting at each other. Right here, I saw this dude. So there's another fourth team coming in 
to fight this. All right, my boy just came back from the ghoulie. Um, Man, so lucky, bro. I and I was hoping these guys didn't see me, but sadly they did see me. So I'm just trying to peek this to see where they rotated to. And then I see one, one's right here. One's right here. two, one's right here. two three. And I was like, oh shit, I forgot we're playing freaking trios, right? Three what there. the fuck? There's three? One's right playing here. Trios, huh? And then right here is a perfect example of like communication with your teammates. So he's flying back from the gulag and he's giving me live pings nonstop showing me where all these guys are. Yeah. Very helpful. So I know where they are. Okay. And then this is also very important when you're playing one man down or you're playing like solo trios or duos or quads is because you guys are playing one person down you guys only have to worry about one or two people's footsteps right yours or another teammates um here these guys have no idea that we're not on the same team as the enemy so here we're just trying to finesse our way through in between these teams and just try to either you know get one or two kills get out or actually try to wipe two out of ten, so. two out of ten. and three by you see perfect comms by him so right there, I close the door and I'm waiting for audio cues to see if anyone's going to push me, if anyone's going to jump through this window right here. Um, and I'm just trying to listen to get a bearings about what's happening around me. Uh, try rotate out. So I call, we should just yeah, rotate out because it was kind of sketch. If I fight that, two teams might push at me at the same time, oh, I'm just going to end up losing. Don't do it, sketch. So somehow my boy did not die here. So because he went back into the gunfight, I want to be able to help him. So I hop over this wall to try to see if I can get another angle in this area. Um, but I did know that there was people who rotated through here. So there might be a guy along this ridge or along that wall, which there is. Because he was beating me and he stopped. And then I started shooting him and he forgot that I was there. I guess he didn't think I was going to shoot back. But here... More information, right? I know this red dot here. Positioning my boys inside, I need to position myself in a better angle to help him. So I'm gonna watch his backside because there's there's it's a it's kind of hard to watch the backside from ready, inside that uh, firehouse. So positioning myself, make sure I'm reloading, taking my time, holding the angles just in case someone decides to start running forward because Dude, they just yeah, finished fighting. I just grabbed my shield. Slide cancel a little bit just so I could get there a little faster. Right there, I almost got my head freaking taken off my body, Ooh, which is freaking close. Yeah, another team. So now there's five teams here, one on top of that Come tall on, tower, still, and there. this other team we're fighting. So I hear shots. I go left. Watch for those. Watch for that team on top of that tower, because that's still very important to know. Right here, got some nice shots on this dude. Rock one. That rose skin, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even realize there was a rose character here until they ran across. Because if, if I knew that there was someone here, I would have just brought my freaking iron sights right onto him. But that skin is just so difficult to see. I mean, I'm I'm guilty because I use it, but it just I just get so many sweaty lobbies. I'm sure we all do. And um, yeah, so I didn't know that he was there. One's backside. Giving some good comms, right? You went inside pushing forward nope. and here even though I'm pushing forward I'm like slightly keeping my eyes on this tower because yeah, no, I right, know oh, I was getting sniped at from here, right? self res good comms and then right here this guy hard challenges with peekers advantage thinking that I was gonna push through this middle section, right? Good challenge good challenge. I take the split second to hide behind this white truck and then I'm keeping my shots on him. And then he gets wiped. Okay. Yeah, better, and I'm, I was pretty proud of myself right there because You're we were able to take on you. essentially, what, three, four squads there and was able to survive. Yeah, even though we didn't kill every single one of them, we were able to finesse our way through. Okay. And then I just want to talk about one more important thing. Right here, I downed this guy. Look at this guy. This sweaty sweat. So he's going to hard challenge this. I'm shooting, shooting, shooting and tempo okay remember i was talking about tempo and fights so i slow it down just for one second right there i slow it down i know i have cover this dude's right out in the open right Cause he's thinking i'm gonna eagle child the whole time but i take the time to slow it down take a quick little breather hide behind the car and then i reach out him and he's like oh shit i'm screwed right because he was hoping he was gonna be able to get all those good shots on me because i'm just behind cover that little bit of cover and he would have definitely got me if i didn't 
scoot over to the van. But I took the second to relax and just hide behind cover and then reach out. And he didn't expect that. He most likely ran out of like bullets in his uh, what Mac 10, and then he started to panic and he jumped out. So I hope you guys learned something from these three quick tips. I know this is a longer video, but it has a lot of information and I hope you guys found a lot of value from it. I could definitely do more of uh, kind of breaking down my, I guess, gunfights. If you guys want to see more of that, please comment down below and let me know because there's no way I know that you guys want to see more of this content without smashing the like button and commenting down below just to communicate with me. So if you guys want to see me break down more of my gunfights and possibly do another spectating video, please let me know and I'll talk about the pillars again and I'll go over what I did right and wrong. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found value in it. If you guys do, smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe to see more of my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck in Warzone. Peace.